pulmonary embolism pulmonary embolism and more specifically we are dealing with the x-ray findings specifically the x-ray findings so this is what we are going to discuss so let's get started so firstly to begin with the x-ray findings importantly we have the Wester there is something known as the Wester mark sign something known as the Wester mark sign so this Wester mark sign is nothing but a focal area so it is nothing but a focal area and this is of the oligemia so focal area of the oligemia and this is nothing but a decreased vascular marking so there's a decrease in the vascular marking and this is nothing but is the focal area of oligemia and it is distal to the embolism it's distal to the embolism so this was nothing but the Wester mark sign next we have something known as the hampton's lump so what is known as the hampton hampton's lump so this hampton lump is nothing but it is peripherally placed wedge shaped it is peripherally placed it is peripherally placed and it is nothing but it is wedge shaped it is wedge shaped or it can be the dome shaped it can be dome shaped it can be wedge shaped as well as it can be dome shaped so it is an opacity it is an opacity due to the infarction of the lung tissue so there is a infarction of the lung tissue so next we are looking at something known as the pala sign what is the pala sign so what is the pala sign so pala sign is nothing but there's an increase in the size of the right there is increase in the size of what of the right descending pulmonary artery so right descending so it is increase in size of the right descending pulmonary artery and what does it do and it gives a appearance of a sausage like appearance so it looks like a sausage next we look at the something known as a fleshner sign so it is f l e i s h n e r so fleshner sign so this fleshner sign is nothing but an enlarged pulmonary artery it is an enlarged pa that is a pulmonary artery and then we move on to something known as the melting sign so what is this melting sign so a melting sign is nothing but an infarct which shows a rapid clearing in contrast so it shows a rapid clearing rapid clearing of contrast to the pneumonic consolidation to the pneumonic consolidation so next we move on to something known as a mcconnell sign so what is this mcconnell sign so this is a mcconnell sign it is nothing but an indirect sign of the it is an indirect sign of pe so mcconnell sign is a indirect sign of pe seen in the transthoracic echo so mcconnell sign is seen in transthoracic it is seen in case of the transthoracic echo and there is a here there is a hypokinesis of the right ventricular free valve there is something known as a hypokinesis so there is hypokinesis of the right ventricular free valve the right ventricular free valve and with a normal motion and it has a normal motion of the right ventricular apex 
Next, we have something known as the knuckle or the sausage side. So, what is meant by the knuckle or the sausage side? So, this is interesting. The knuckle and the sausage sign is the dilation of the pulmonary artery. So, we saw the knuckle and the sausage sign. It is a dilation. It is a dilation of the pulmonary artery. Of the pulmonary artery and the proximal and it is proximal. So, it was the dilation of the pulmonary artery and it is proximal to the embolus. It is proximal to the embolus with the collapse or constriction so it is with the collapse or the constriction and this is of the distal arteries this is of the distal it is of the distal arteries and results in an abrupt tampering so it results in an abrupt so it results in an abrupt tapering of arteries of the arteries so this was totally about the pulmonary embolism and the signs so we had discussed the Westermann signs we had discussed the Hampton hump the Pala sign the Flishner sign the melting sign the McConnell sign as well as the knuckle sausage sign so that covers everything in pulmonary embolism. So to learn and grow daily, please do subscribe.